but uh, first let me also go with the with the new with the next feature that is the break the glass and basically in two six we have finally implemented break the glass so basically now when we have a program that is protected and also when the user is searching for uh, the eyes that are not under his or her uh, or unit uh, capture scope then it will show up uh, the application will show up a, a dialogue asking for a reason why do you need to access to this information so when the user the user needs to uh, uh, specify the details of the reason click on accept and it will gain the ownership of that ai for a uh, uh, temporally i think that the, that temporary is about uh, two hours if i am not wrong okay so let's see how this looks like uh, so for instance uh, uh, i have also my uh, a user uh, a web user here uh, so in this case, um, this user has access to all the programs and all the TIs in the in, in this server. So what happens if uh, let me go through the child program program here? I am uh, under Go. I'm going to select this particular uh, or unit, and I have all these all these persons here. All these entities. So now let's say that I am uh, my Android user uh, that doesn't have access to the child program. Okay. But uh, let's say that the, the Android user will, uh, will like to search uh, to enroll a, a new patient under this WHO tracker. So I click on this one. Okay. So I'm going to click on the search. Okay. And then uh, let's see that uh, I am interested in. in uh, Sandra Stewart, okay. So I write there Sandra and here is Stewart. Okay, let's see if everything is correct with the not typos here. Okay, so now if I click on the search button, okay, it disappears that, okay, this person doesn't exist in my program. And with this, when I click on this button, what is happening is like it's searching in my in my uh, local database. And if I am online, it's also searching on my uh, or unit search uh, uh, scope uh, for this particular program, okay? But now, as I said before, in this version, we have the possibility of searching outside this program. So if I click on this one, okay, is, uh, I can see that uh, I have access to uh, this track entity uh, with uh, the first name is Sandra, the last name is Stewart, and I see that this enrolled in this particular region. Okay, so now, uh, of course, and this is possible because I am using for searching the track identity type attributes. So now, if I click in on on this particular one, is as the program is protected, it's going to ask me for a reason, right? So I can specify here any reason. I click on accept. And then uh, it works as usual. Uh, so I need to select an origin for the enrollment, the enrollment date. Okay, and can continue with the with the enrollment of the enrollment of this person. Okay, so let's go back. Okay, so break the glass. 